We're here at the Weir's Bridge, the pride and joy of the Sligo Leitrim and Northern Counties Railway. It was the largest engineering feature on the entire line. It was a 467 foot long uh, bridge, but all that remains now are the stone and masonry abutments. The metal parts have, have long been taken away and scrapped. Officially it was bridge number four. The locals tended to call it the Weir's Bridge. Uh, in the engineer's diary of 1915 he described it as the Ern Bridge and it was also grandly called the Killy Hevelin Viaduct. When the railway started in Inniskillen uh, it quickly came to a bridge over the Temple Road then across uh, the castle, under the Castle Cool Road, across the Dublin Road, and this was bridge number four, the Weir's Bridge. It was built by Courtney Stevens and Bailey, a, a, a Dublin firm, and was well built, but it always had a speed limit on it from early in the 20th century of five miles per hour. It was still well maintained and painted in fact at times in the 50s the railways didn't have the railway didn't have enough money uh, to pay for the painting of it and it was deferred for a few years but eventually it was repainted Inniskillen people thought of the Weir's Bridge as a landmark on a Sunday when normally no services ran people would have used it as a walk uh, going out over the Weir's Bridge following the track out to the Dare Lynn Road and then coming back by the Derlin Road, by the roadside. Old people in Inniskillen used to be saying, over the Weir's Bridge. This meant that if you were over the Weir's, uh, you were on your way to Sligo Prison, because a lot of people in the late 19th century and early 20th century uh, went to Sligo Prison via the Sligo Leitrim.